Vets are urging dog owners to be extra vigilant after a rise in the number of cases of longworm in the Solon area. More dogs are getting sick across the south of England due to a rise in longworm larvae. But stopping your pooch from getting poorly is relatively easy, as Jessica Wilkins found out. Dogs in Southampton could be at risk from a deadly parasite. Cases of lungworm in our four-legged friends have been on the rise throughout the south, according to vets. The larvae are spread to dogs via slugs and snails. The worms themselves um, live in vessels uh, in the chest area and they produce enzymes that can affect the clotting of dogs which can then lead to problems with, with bleeding. It's a parasite that needs a certain uh, way of life in order to thrive so it has to uh, develop using uh, the slugs and the snails and it also has to go through dogs or foxes in order to complete its whole life cycle. Uh, so when we put those sort of things together and they just keep breeding and keep going, keep going. Symptoms can include difficulty breathing, red spots on gums and coughing. However, the symptoms of lungworm can be hard to spot. They range massively, uh, which is part of the problem with diagnosing it. It can be anything from your dog being just a little bit lethargic um, to weight loss not wanting to exercise as much, uh, all the way up to the more severe signs of bleeding around the eyes and the nose um, to being unconscious. The lungworm parasite was first recognised in the UK back in the 1970s. It was concentrated mostly in the south of the UK but has recently spread out to the north. A study from Bristol University found the number of lungworm larvae in the south had increased to almost 51%. Dogs who are curious and active are more at risk of picking up the parasite. You know, adult but young dogs, you know, they're often out and about, they're often more inquisitive, they're more likely probably to pick up slugs and snails and things like that, uh, but it's no way exclusive to, to young dogs. There are a few simple things that we can do um, to help prevent the problem. If your dog has any outdoor toys, it's important to, to bring them in in the evening and wash them. Uh, also, feeding indoors uh, and having water bowls indoors or regularly washing outdoor water bowls um, because the slugs and snails will often, you know, mooch around that kind of general area and that's then when the contamination happens and then the dogs then, you know, go out and obviously drink the water or, or pick up their toys. Um, the other really important thing is to pick up after your dog um, because that will then stop the spread. Prevention is better than cure in tackling lungworm, according to Dr. Harriet. Owners can use a spot on treatment available at their local vets. Jessica Wilkins for that Solent.